To grab NewGen Pack, given that you are at the tutorial thread, go to the Setting Up New Gen section, and right above the video will be a link to the pack. Click Download here, it will bring you to the original thread, then click Download here again. Save the file. This will be in the 7Z format. If you can't open 7Z, go ahead and Google 7-Zip. Click the very first link, and then click download.msi 64-bit, or if you are on Windows 32-bit, go ahead and get the 32-bit version. They have various other versions if you click on the download link. Windows, command line, they should have a Linux version as well, but oh, right here, Debian, Fedora, Mac, and so on. So just go ahead and get the version you want. Download that, install that. Once that's installed, I'm going to go to the desktop really fast. You open it up, and inside you'll see a folder here, Just New Gempack 2.0. Go ahead and open your file explorer by right-clicking Start and opening Windows Explorer. This works the exact same way on Windows 8. Right-click the Start Control Panel thing and click on Explorer. You can alternatively click on a folder here, and it'll open Explorer. Then you can go to Computer. From there, go to your main hard drive. In my case, it's Local Disk C. And you're going to either want to go to Program Files or Program Files x86. It's wherever you installed Warcraft 3. More than likely, if you're on 64-bit, you install them Program Files x86 and it'll be down in the Warcraft 3 folder. I install them program files, so it will be in the program files folder. Go into Warcraft 3, and then what you are going to want to do is drag select this by left clicking and holding into the Warcraft 3 folder, and it will extract it. Close that. You can go ahead and delete the file now empty it up. Now go into the folder you just made, just new gen back 2.0 or whatever the current version is, and then you'll want to go down a bit, and there's new gen world editor. Go ahead and right click that and create a shortcut, and just go ahead and put that on the desktop. Now if you notice, I have a little icon on top of it that you may not have. You'll always want to run that as an administrator, so you go into Properties, Compatibility, and Privilege Level, run this program as an administrator. If you're on an older version of Windows, XP and older, you will not have to do this. And yeah. And then you can go ahead and run it. The very first time you run it, it will ask you to tell it where your Warcraft 3 directory is. I've already run it before, so it's not going to ask me that. So just go ahead and point it to your Warcraft 3 directory right here, and it will be good to go. It might actually ask for an exe or something. I don't quite remember.